What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Female truck driver says she don't want to see you in this trucking game in 14 years, man. Save your money and invest it so that you won't have to spend 10 years of trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Okay, so I want you to listen to this advice that I'm about to give you very clearly. So when you get into the trucking industry, I want you to save your money, okay? So when you get past that three-month mark, your salary should really elevate from what you were making while you were going through training, okay? So a lot of times for a lot of us, this money is a lot more than what we're getting before we came into the trucking industry. And what we tend to do is we elevate our lifestyle because we're getting more money. I don't want you to do that. I want you to start investing your money into something because I do not want you to stay in trucking for 10 years, all right? The trucking industry is changing tremendously. It is not what it used to be. Is there money out here? Is there a lot of money out here? Yes, but things are changing, okay? Rates are changing. Fuel affects a lot what we do. The market is always changing. And now to make things bigger, uh, now we're getting self-driving trucks and a lot of businesses are moving towards um, this type of trucking, okay? So I want you guys to be prepared that the future of trucking may not be such a big future as we see it now and 20 years ago, okay? So please save your money, start investing, get in, get out, be smart. Do not just live this truck style lifestyle with this money. And then when you see that things have drastically changed, when all this stuff gets put into place that rocks the trucking world because it's already starting, I don't want you guys to be like, damn, I don't have another skill. What am I going to do? Because it is so hard to adjust back to life, making $8, $10, $12, even $20 an hour when you've been making Three, four thousand dollars a week. Okay, so save your money. Drivers, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This driver right here, this female driver. Whoa, man. This female driver is talking straight facts, man. See, a lot of a, a lot of new jacks get into this industry on the pretense of the fact that they can make this kind of money. You know, they, they thinking that they're going to make all this kind of money and they're going to live the fabulous life. And it's not always the case. You're going to build up to that money. And while you building up to that money, the first thing you should do is save. Now, of course, when you get into this industry, making this kind of money that you're not even used to making, you're going to start doing things that you're not even used to doing. Oh, it's time to get me a house. It's time to get me a car. It's time to do this. It's time to do that. But after 10 years, or let's say the first five years, you turn around, you look in the bank, and it ain't nothing in there. It ain't nothing in there. You look in the bank, you be like, man, I've been in this game for five years, and I, I don't have nothing to show for it. But I got all these, I, I got all these material things, though. I got all these material things, but I don't have nothing saved up in the bank. Then another five years go past. Now you in the game for 10 years and you still don't have nothing in the bank. See, that's just the it drivers. When y'all come into this industry, y'all going to be making that kind of money for real, for real. But anything can and will happen. You get into an accident, you can't drive no more. Then what? Now you got to go back to work life. You got to go back to making eight, nine, ten dollars an hour. And that's not even the case. You're not even used to that because you're so used to three thousand, two thousand, one thousand dollars every week. Now you're going to get into depressed mode because you're not making that kind of money no more. And then you go to look in your bank and realize. All that time that you spent in trucking, you didn't save anything. You don't have nothing to show for your time of being out here. 
That's why a lot of old school drivers come back. Life happens. You get a divorce. You lose your, you, you, you lose, you, you lose whatever. And when you get a divorce, you know, that's going to hit the money, right? Depending on how long y'all been together and what type of, what type of living arrangements that y'all had. That's going to put a hurting on your pockets. And now you got to come back out here to drive some more. That's why you got drivers in their 90s, 90s driving, still driving. Now, some of them in their 90s might not be driving because of financial situation. They might be driving because they need something to do. That's why this young lady said, yo, invest your money, man. Invest your money. Invest in, invest in what you might want to do and see if there's an a, a out, an end game for you in this trucking game. All right. But the important thing is, especially if you're young, if you're in your 20s, if you don't have no responsibilities or anything like that, save your money. Save your money because trucking is changing. It is and it, and it might not be changing for the better. You got a lot of drivers out here that's 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 complaining way too much about what the trucking industry is doing right now. But yet you're over here coming into it just to chase for the money, man. Kentucky Trucker said it best, man. Don't just get into this industry because everybody else make this industry look all gravy. Then they want to come on here. They want to flash their settlements. They want to say, hey, I get $1,500 for a, a, a five-mile load. I, I can't stand people like that. I th don't come on here glorifying what you making, man. Don't do that. Keep it to yourself. If somebody wants to know how much you're making, let them know in a private. You don't have to come out here and glorify how much you're making. You don't see Jeff Bezos coming on social media showing his settlements. You don't see Jay-Z coming on social media showing his settlements. You don't see P. Diddy coming on here showing his settlements. So I don't understand why truck drivers do that. Like, yo, here's my settlement right here. This is how much I made. This is how much I take home. But, bro, that's, that's probably only a good week, my guy. That probably might be a good week. If you want to show something, why don't you show, why don't, why don't you show what, what, what's a bad day look like? Show us what a $500 day look like. Instead of showing us those three, $4,000 checks, that's only, only, that's only on good days, show us a bad day. Drivers, let me know what you think about drivers. Let me know your thoughts on what this young lady said in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you let me all night, yeah, take me down. Won't you let me real wet, yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G, yeah.